Annual meetings are an important part of the governance of the church, and I appreciate your attention and your attendance. I'm grateful for your stewardship of gifts that help to support the mission of, our, of your congregation. Your congregation itself is important to me and is an important part of the wider work of the diocesan family. We are today made up of over 200 Episcopal congregations and communities from Longview to Palacios, from Austin to Houston. We are small house churches, large congregations, college missions, churches that date from before uh, when Texas was Texas, and new mission churches. Hurricane Harvey continued to be a major emphasis of our 2018 work, and we've been able to fully implement Harvey recovery. Thanks to our help, to your help, we have engaged uh, in a mission-oriented recovery effort in partnership with congregations and Episcopal Relief and Development. We are doing truly amazing work, and I'm grateful to our staff uh, and to you for bringing about this collaborative effort. We also continue to make progress in our strategic goals. For instance, in 2018, we planted three churches and 22 missional communities uh, across the diocese. This is a tangible result of our relationship building in our communities. We've planted nine new congregations, 89 missional communities, and 16 college missions in our uh, 10 years together. We also continue to build relationships across the church. We as a diocese continue to have a healthy leadership, have healthy leadership within the wider communion through lay, clergy, and my own involvement. We have also continued to improve our relationship with the wider Episcopal Church. One of the highlights of 2018 was our diocese uh, hosted the 79th General Convention of the Episcopal Church in Austin. It's no understatement when I say it was a huge success. Visitors from across our church remarked upon the Texas hospitality they received uh, from many of you who volunteered uh, uh, different times throughout the convention. One of our goals uh, is to provide tools and resources for practical ministry needs, and we were able in 2018 to help congregations negotiate loans with low interest rates through our finance department. In addition, we began to offer planned giving presentations for congregations. We maximized our interest earnings to free up more dollars for mission. We also underwrote every congregation's cost of doing business through our insurance grant from Episcopal Health Foundation and our mission underwriting through the Great Commission Foundation. This allowed us to keep assessments between 6 and 10 percent for the fifth year in a row. As we look at 2019, we will continue to underwrite the work of existing congregations and offer growth grants for missional efforts. We set a goal of planning three more congregations and 25 new missional communities. An emphasis for 2019 will be on starting and restarting missions on campuses of historically black colleges and universities uh, within our diocese. Last spring, we established student organization at Texas Southern University, and this fall we commence work at Texas College in Tyler. We intend to reboot a ministry with students at Prairie View A&M in the fall of 2019. As a diocese, we are all looking forward to the election of a new bishop suffragan for the West region and to integrating that person into the life of the diocese and into the life of our leadership team. A diocese and liturgical commission has been formed under the leadership of Bishop Fisher and they are prepared to follow up on the work of general convention in collecting and evaluating resources. This year we will help uh, you and work together by looking at non-Eucharistic worship like morning prayer, especially as we look for resources for our smaller churches. Another goal in 2019 will be to evaluate where we are in terms of leadership diversity, especially among our larger congregations. We'll be in conversation around encouraging and recruiting the best candidates for positions and vacancies all over the diocese. In addition, our communications department will be creating monthly pew sheets in English and in Spanish for congregational use and we will be hiring a new communications director. There is much to give thanks for as we look back at 2018 and much to be excited about as we look forward to 2019. At this moment, let us pause and we give thanks to God for the generations of leaders who have gone before us, people like yourself who took their place in the councils of the church, people like you who gave generously to God's mission locally and abroad. And we give thanks, I give thanks 
uh, for those who generously provide and have provided resources for future generations by creating funds and foundations for our future mission. We give thanks for the gift of meaningful work for all our congregations, missions, campus ministries, missional communities, schools, and other institutions, and for all the clergy and people who serve in the Diocese of Texas. Let us pray for a renewed spirit to continue the work God has given us to do so that together we may write this next chapter of our church's story. And let us give thanks for God and Christ Jesus, our Savior, God with us, who always goes before us to lead us and to guide us. Amen.